In the design process, we're constantly moving items around the room. In 2020 design, there's several ways to do that. As an example, let's start with an easy one, the wall 3615. If I hold my left button down, we have a one-click edit that allows you to grab hold of any item and drag it back and forth in the available space. So, just holding my left button down gives me the ability to do what we call drag. If I right-clicked on the cabinet, you'll also notice there's a drag option, actually the same exact feature we just used, except you took an extra step to do it. But if that's what you need to do, just right-click, choose drag. The wall 1830. Let's say that you wanted to take this wall 1830 and move it to this wall. If you right-click on it, highlight the wall 1830, there's an option here called move. When we click move, the cabinet disappears. It's waiting for us to indicate where we want it to now be placed. We will do so by left clicking in the new area and you'll see that I have my wall 1830. Let me show you a new example. We have a wall 3630. The wall 3630, I would like to move it away from the window. So, when I slide the cabinet against the window, I've decided that I need to leave at least a minimal amount of space between the cabinet and the window trim. In this case, let's say it's three inches. If I left click on the wall 3630, you'll see that it appears inside of the placement tool. Now your placement tool may be either on the place tab or on the move tab. If it's on the place tab, click move. See where it says offset? Offset allows you to tell the system exactly how far you wish to move an item. Next to offset, I will type in three and I will click on the left arrow and now my cabinet has been moved three inches away from the trim of the bolding. Let me give you an even bigger example. You have an island. If you hold the left button down on your mouse and move it completely around the island, you're drawing a box. Now the key to this is you want the box to completely encompass everything on the island because when you let go of the mouse button, everything has been selected. I call that lassoing. We've group selected our island. And if you look at my screen, you'll see that it ha says we've uh, dimensions. It tells me that the island is 36 and a half inches away from the dishwasher and we're 44 inches away from the DB15 on the right. We want to leave at least a 42 inch walkthrough space. Well, we can adjust that very easily. We have group selected the island and if you look at my placement tool, my entire island is now inside of the placement tool. Right here where it says offset, all I need to do is subtract four, uh, 36 and a half from 42, which is five and a half inches, I guess. 5.5, I will click the down arrow, and your island is exactly where you want it to be. By using the placement tool, you moved it to the exact point you want in the plan.